Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and assemble the parts of a universal coupling on Solid Edge. This is the dimension sheet, and you see there are seven parts that we have to make. Two forks, one center, two shafts, two parallel keys, two pins, two collars, and two paper pins. You can start off with any part you want, but let's follow this um, bill of materials. So this is a fork. It's hard to visualize what it actually looks like by these two drawings, by the side view and the top view. Um, but it will get clearer as I start drawing. I first made a rectangle of dimensions of sides 84 by 57. And you will see why. I'm going to sketch in this plane. Um, your rectangle by center, yes, that's what I want. You can, of course, draw lines, um, but it won't be symmetric, and it's useful in assembly if it's symmetric. Um, I need a width of 84, I think. 84, a height of 57, and an angle of 0. That is the rectangle that we want, and we need to extrude that, so I'm going to come out of this sketch. Extrude this profile, except um, to a distance of 16. So you see what I'm doing. Distance of 16 on whichever side, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's a rectangle. Now we're going to do this cylindrical portion here with diameter, an outer diameter of 57 and a through hole of diameter 30 because that's where your shaft of diameter 30 is going to go. Okay, let's get to it. Um, you can draw on this plane or on this plane. Um, I'm going to draw on this plane. Need a circle from the center of diameter 57, which means that it will be tangent to this line. Um, in fact, this line will be tangent to this line. And let's cut the hole later. So, we come out of the sketch, extrude this part, look at the dimensions again. We need a, an extrusion of 38 from this part. We've already extruded 16 here, plus 38. So this comes to 38 on this side only, not this side, because that will actually be 38 minus 16, which is not 38. So it's 38. There we go. And now we need to cut a hole for the shaft. So I'm going to sketch in this. Make a concentric circle of diameter 30. Close the sketch. Cut out that hole. Since it's a through hole, um, I can. Even this is acceptable. But it's always nice to be accurate and exact. So I'm going to. Tell it exactly where I want it to fill. So I zoom in a little bit and tell it that I want it to this point. So you see. There's the hole that we need. Okay. It's starting to look like a fork now. Well, not really, but now we need to make this part of it. <coughs> this is the side view, this is what it actually looks like. And um, what is it? It's an arc of radius 20. And the arc starts, this is important, from an offset of 18 from this side. 18 from here. An arc of 20 with a hole of diameter 16. 
Okay. I'm going to sketch on this plane. In fact, I do it like it this way. So I'm going to pin out a little bit. Right. So I first need a construction line from here, 18 millimeter out there. That's going to be the center of our arc and circle. I need an arc of 20 degrees, which means that I'm going to talk to you. That's what I need. And I need lines from this point to the circle, um, which are tangents, also. So, use this and make sure that I make them tangential. Same on this side. I don't need this part, so I'm going to trim it. In fact, I don't need this part either, but I need the circle center of diameter. I've forgotten. Check. I'm 16. So let's see, I'm 16. Okay. Now I can extrude this, but I can't, can I? Um, what a lot of people forget is that to extrude a profile, it needs to be closed. And this profile is not closed, because I need this to be closed. And this is extraneous, so I need to trim this and this. So once I connect these two points, now my profile is closed. I can come out the sketch. That's the profile. Extrude this one. Make sure that you select this also. That way you'll have a ready made hole. Accept the profile. And extrude for a distance of. Ah. Um, 84 minus 56 by 2. How much is that? I don't know. Um, let's get solid x to do it for us. 84. So that's 84 minus 56 by 2. So that's how much that is. It's not on this side, it's on this side. So that's actually 14, I believe. So there's that part. Now I need an identical part on this side. I can either do it again to the sketch, make the profile, and extrude again, or I can just mirror this part with respect to this plane. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the mirror copy feature. Select protrusion three. Accept. This is the plane of symmetry, and there you have it. Simple. Let me finish. There is one small part left. We see that there's a keyway with dimensions 8 by 3.5, so we need to do that so that this key can go in there. Alright, so there are no specifications as such. It's just the dimensions of keyway, 8 by 3.5. And you see that the key is actually 7, so half of it is going to be in here and half of it is going to be in the shaft. So let's sketch on this plane. Let's zoom in a little bit. I need a line of 3.5 here and this, and I need it to be 8 completely, totally. So for just one half, it's going to be 4. So 4. Make sure it's horizontal. 
now it's it's going to be a cutout so I can in fact draw a rectangle that's this big but just to be exact I'm going to make sure that it ends at this circle which sure is horizontal uh, note that the length is 8 already because it's horizontal use this as a reference you know it's going to be correct and that's the rectangle and I don't need this part so I'm going to turn it again note that I can't cut this out because my profile is not closed so I need that length close the sketch as I prefer and I need to cut that out select the profile accept and I need it to cut it out till the surface we we'll select that surface and there we go that's our keyway and that's our fork I am going to save it somewhere so please make sure that you name the part appropriately so that when you're assembling it becomes easier don't leave it as part 3 make sure you call it fork in the next videos I will show you how to go about making the center, the shaft and the other parts.